I was in a foster home and they, and they found the tape and they threw it out the window and broke it. You know what, what? I'm saying? My Come Snoop on, shit. That <laughs> doggy dog logo. You know what shit. I'm saying? So, <laughs> hey, speaking of Jay Z, man, is it true that he told you not to, um, that he told you to possibly turn down the double XL freshman cup? Very true? true. Very Damn, true. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want to talk about J. Cole's Revenge of the Dreamers 3. Mm -hmm. How was that experience, man, just over there with them man. guys? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to change nothing. Man. You know what I mean? You know you sign that paperwork and a lot of shit changed, man. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot of shit changed, so. Welcome to Crook's Corner where we talk rap, rap, and more rap. You already know how we get down, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm talking about from Buffalo, New York, you know what I mean? That's that, what's that? That's that Thurman Thomas shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that motherfucking Andre Reed shit. Mm -hmm. That's that motherfucking Bruce Smith shit. That's, that's football. Fact. But I ain't talking football when I say that's that Montana shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? I got the Griselda crew representative, Black Soprano family boss, Benny the Butcher. Ah! Thanks so for coming OG. by, man. You already know. You already know. I we had to do it. this. This is dope. What you doing out here in Cali, bro? Uh, just had the show at Catch One. Mm. Did a show in Oakland. You know what mm. I'm saying? Fucking around, smoking weed. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's on that good Kelly shit. Yo, that's uh, a fact. That's, that's a, a smell. Fact. Smell a vision. Yo, every time I go, every time I come out here and I go back home, uh -huh. I be, I, the weed, I look at the weed and just don't want to throw that shit away. <laughs> you get bougie a little exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's real How shit. How was the show, bro? It was crazy, man. Catch One was sold out, man. Shout out to everybody in LA who came to the show. I appreciate the love, man. That shit was crazy, man. Yeah, man. I heard you tore it down. The, um, homies Husk Kingpin, Planet Asia was in the building. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They said you destroyed it as usual. You know what I mean? Yeah, How's it feel crazy. to get up there and just rock out with all that energy these fans are bringing you, bro? Man, it's surreal. You know what I'm saying? It's surreal. I could never get used to it. And it's like, they be shouting the words word for word loud as fuck, and I'm just like, damn, damn, you know what I mean? And like, because you're a craftsman with the words, right, right, so right. It ain't like it's easy for them to just exactly, shout the words word exactly, for word. Exactly, yeah. and I just, I just feel like you know what I'm saying. They paying attention. They mm. paying attention to my pen, and I appreciate it, man. I, I'm, I'm fresh out the projects, man. So I'm word. still, I'm still like in, in, in La La Land, real. You know what I mean? Y'all just built this. When I say y'all, I mean Griselda, you know, um, your squad. Y'all built like this loyal fan base, mm -hmm. bro. Like they just with y'all. Right, like, right. They go on Twitter, and if anybody's saying anything mm -hmm. bad, they going at them. You oh, know what I'm shit, saying? Real like shit. real shit. Like man, that shit is crazy, man. Mm -hmm. How do you think that? How was that built? Like some organic shit. Like how did that come about? Uh, definitely organically. You know what I'm saying? And I think, I think. It's a, it's a matter of like for every positive, there's a negative. So people mm -hmm. see what's going on in hip hop and they see a crew like Griselda and, 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 and they want to stick to that. They say, this is this is going against the grain. People like that type of shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like they rebels with us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anytime you like mention like, yo, this dude hot, this dude hot. I see him on Twitter like shit. Well, Benny too or Conway, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to put their two cents exactly. in. They be almost getting me into some shit too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So it's like, they kind of feel like they growing with us, you know mm, what I'm saying? And, and it's like a, a secret that the rest of the world kind of didn't know about. Mm -hmm. and, and and they kind of like, they kind of like feel like it's theirs. You know what I'm saying? They kind of feel like they own it with us, you know what I'm saying? And it, in this era right here, they, a lot of people complain about, mm -hmm. oh, this, these niggas ain't spitting, or, you know, go, go get your bars up. But, you know, when it comes to people that we want to say, okay, you want to think nobody's spitting? Go listen to Griselda. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it's like you guys are becoming a staple in the game for like lyricism. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like even on your projects, having people like Black Thought and you know Pusha T and on the Tanner joint, um, um, who are you with um, with Royce? Royce yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is just dope. Like like what what is that? Just something that's very important to y'all? Like the pr preservation of lyrics in the game? Yeah, man. Because I feel like. You could stand on that more firmly than anything else. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And we grown ass men. So Royce told me, I, 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 been, I said this in like 30 interviews, like the, the money going to come. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? The money going to come. And these niggas, everybody got money when you get to this level. It's about who's who and what's what. You know what I'm saying? It's like I like to be able to hold my chin up and just poke my chest up like, yeah, y'all heard my shit. Mm -hmm. I'm rapping. All that other shit, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know niggas is rich and getting money. You got to be with the stacks and shit. Mm -hmm. But man, you know what I'm saying? We ain't missing no meals, and it's about the respect. You know what I'm saying? It's about the respect of your peers. 
know yeah. what I'm saying? That that mean a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's dope because man, you breaking down them syllables, dog. Like when you when I listen to it, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it's it's a breath of fresh air because it's the street shit that we love, mm -hmm. but the picture is painted in a complex way. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In a way that they think we can't paint the picture. Right, you know exactly. what I'm saying? It's like exactly. you're doing some shit. That motherfuckers think you can't do. You know what no I'm real shit. That's again I, and again and again. No real shit. That's why I tell them because it gotta be. It gotta be in you. It can't be on you. You know what I'm saying? And, and to be a good rapper, I tell niggas this all the time. You have to be smart to be a good rapper. You right. know what I'm saying? You can't be no dumb nigga and be a good rapper. Every good rapper I know is a. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is an articulate, intellectual individual. Every good rapper that I know. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, and that, I think that's like a, a very. Um, that's a jewel. You know what I'm saying? We in the jewelry business. We trying to give out gems right now. That's a mm -hmm. definite jewel right there, man. Um, you can't be no dumbass. Mo Plus, you got contracts and legal situations. Exactly. You don't exactly. want to be getting screwed over. You know what I mean? Just can't be no anything. dumb nigga, man. You can't be no dumb nigga out here, man. That ain't the way. Take a quarter, you make a quarter, put that together, that'll make a half with a coke compressor. It's, matter of fact, ain't telling nigga shit. Now, I want to talk about J. Cole's Revenge of the Dreamers 3. Mm -hmm. um, the sessions and shit that you, you guys were in and how was that experience, man, just over there with them man, guys? It was dope. Hill. It was dope. It was inspiring to be around all that hip hop mm. and uh in one room and different rooms and just and seeing the energy and, and what everybody was trying to go hard and you know what I mean? Mm. And everybody was excited. I was seeing I was seeing TI in there, I seen fucking I seen Cole in there and Reason from from T D E. On fucking cars, you know what I'm saying? So it was just it was just a good feeling. That was my first time meeting uh, a lot of those dudes, right. so just to come around and you know what I'm saying, you know, as rappers, this this is a league of extraordinary gentlemen, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So to get to meet those dudes and I heard about them, so it was just it was just like it was just like the fucking you know what I'm saying, you know, the the the, the dream team tapes when they, nobody seen them right, play right. shit. Yeah. It's like that. I know you've been through shit yeah. like that before, oh, yeah, you know man, what I'm saying. That shit is a great feeling when it's just all yeah. you know it's all spitters in the exactly, room. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and exactly. that energy that y'all had on like viewing that shit and looking at those sessions go down, man, it was like, damn, they matching, you know, the, the shit that I consider whack has crazy energy around it. Right, so the exactly. kids love it, but they matching that crazy energy with these sessions, but it's all motherfucking hyenas in there, you know what I'm shit, saying? Bro, like shit. that shit is just ingenious, man. Um yeah, man. You said to stretch fresh out the projects. Like I, I, like again, when I'm listening to your music, I like to wonder sometimes, like, who is this song resonating with, and who might not get it because you're saying some shit right. that I, you know, grew up on welfare, Project Baby, mm -hmm. you know, all that shit, Section A, Wick, all that shit. You know what I mean? So. When you say something that touched my soul, I'm wondering, do it touch that casual right, fan right, soul? Right. Like, I bet you, I'm like, they don't even fucking know right now <laughs> yeah. what he's doing. Do you think people know what you're doing? I kind of, I kind of feel like people don't. Mm. You know what I'm saying, but for for the people that get it, they get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, push it. If you know, you know. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was just thinking about that shit like a couple weeks ago. Mm. Like, damn, I said that, and that was a good line, but. Would, would this person get it? Yeah. But to my surprise, man, you know, people hit me up in my DM all the time and tell me that they they not they not Project Babies. They didn't grow up on Wick. They never been to prison, but they still feel the music. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's art. You know what I'm saying? I like all type of weird movies and shit like that. Right. That I the shit that I never do. But I guess I guess people are listening to the like you said to the artistic part of it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then and, and then maybe like the realness of it is secondary to them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So man, it's just all hip hop and that just show me that the demographic and that the fan base that we reach is just big, you know what I'm saying, in yeah. different walks of life. I tell people this all the time about the kind of music we do. Cause you know niggas always tell me like, yo, man, people telling me you need a radio record, you need this, you need this. I did everything I did just without that, you know what I'm saying? And uh I just believe that the kind of music we do is for is, is for grown people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a grown man's game. It's a grown man's world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's good to have grown fans. I got fans that's principals. I got fans that own businesses. Mm -hmm. and I'm the type of niggas who can afford uh, tickets and merch. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You know what these, what saying? <laughs> these is grown people with salaries and shit. So right, right. I tell people to think about it in that aspect. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Grown yeah, people I, shit. I, but I already, I know you got some kids too, though, that's going crazy right yeah, I'd now. I'd be surprised, man. Yeah. I'd be surprised. And my daughter just graduated eighth grade, and, and she told me that his, his kids in her class 
uh, that listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm like, damn. Damn. You know what I mean? They they not gonna stop, man. We we used to listen to some wild shit when we was kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you already know. They probably not fact. supposed to be listening to, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. all the songs, but they gonna listen anyway. Yeah, I was definitely in the sixth grade listening to like reasonable doubt and shit. Like what the yo, that's why I could always listen to that album because it's like even even a lot of music from that era, because I really didn't get that shit until mm. like ten years later. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't, didn't get know, that shit. No, I was a kid. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? What the fuck are they talking about? Then when you find <laughs> out, you like, wow, that's an ill nigga. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm still doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still doing that with music. You know what I mean? First time I ever cooked the deuce, I got a four way from it. Stabbed it in a pot so many times they think OJ done it. Who, who are some of the um your favorite rappers when you was growing up? Uh man, definitely uh big. Definitely hove the locks. Just like I could remember I could remember uh this patch from ninety-six to like ninety-nine, you know what I mean? Uh what's the, what's what's I I was fucking with uh Mace. I remember writing yeah. the like Mace lyrics yeah, down, Mace. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and Cam the S D E. That shit was crazy, you know what I'm saying? That era. I remember I got in trouble. This was 93. I got in trouble. I was listening to a bootleg Snoop tape. You know what I'm saying? And I got in trouble listening to it. I was in a foster home and they, and they found the tape and they threw it out the window and broke it. You know what I'm saying? My Come Snoop on, shit. That doggy dog low You know what I'm saying? So I always been, I always been that type, but like all them dudes inspired me, man. All them dudes. I I, I like I, I stuck with I stuck with Nas for a minute. I I I, I explored and ventured around and like Everybody was my favorite rapper for a period, you know what I'm saying? I studied all these dudes. Yes. I be telling niggas, like, I really studied the music. I used to write lyrics down, and I used to recite them, not knowing that that was going to help me in my delivery, my breath control. I wasn't doing it for that. I was just doing it because I, I like what niggas were saying. Right, right, right. Also, yeah. oh, you would write down other people's lyrics mm -hmm. to their songs. Right. And that kind of showed you how to flex exactly your breath, breath control. That's exactly because I write their lyrics down and I'm saying it how yeah. they saying it. Because you know if you saying? if you if you got to go write down, nigga, what? Right. Nigga, who? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. And you got to learn how to spit you know that. Man? Yeah, I was That's doing shit like that. Showing you how to breathe with your patterns and exactly. all that shit. That's, man, y'all y'all better get these jewels. I, was doing that. I know it's a lot of rappers who watch this shit. Y'all better catch mm -hmm. these jewels. No real you know shit. What I'm Hey, speaking of Jay Z, man, is it true that he told you not to? Um, that he told you to possibly turn down the Double XL freshman cover? Very true? true. Very Damn, true. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and crazy. I and I was gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, gonna do that shit anyway. Huh? It's like jiggle, nigga. I got that look. Yeah, yeah. He told me I was gonna do it. He told me not to do it, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he made a he made a big point. You know what I'm saying? He let me know that when it's your time, it ain't gonna be no voting, or you ain't gonna have to share it. I'm Whoa! He told me that when it's your time, you know ain't gonna be no voting. And, and he told me <clears throat> about a situation where that he was in, where somebody turned something down and showed him that it's okay to to be you and and, yeah. and take the work that you want to take, take the work that you're comfortable with taking for your brand. Yeah. And he told me that ultimately worked out for him. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So if like it's like if a dude. At that caliber, just really telling you that, like, nah, yeah. da 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 da, cause I, it ain't like he just saying don't do it. He telling yeah. me no, nah, cause when I told these people no, da 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 da, da I'm like okay. He he broke down the situation and and it made a lot of sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It's an ill move too, anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because all of all artists, you know, need some exposure. They need, you know, what I'm saying, certain looks. You know what I mean? Um, you might have wanted to. I always wanted to be on the cover of Double mm -hmm. XL. You know how we? It was all a dream. No, real I used shit. To read, real you know shit. What I mean? That's just what the fuck it is. And then to have that opportunity and to be able to be like, nah, I'm good. It's, that's kind of an ill move too, yeah. bro. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what I told myself because I always wanted to be on that shit. I'm like, I told these people no, like, what is happening in my life? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm just telling people no it's, and it's shit. It's going down. It's going exactly. down. That's what's happening. You know what I mean? Hey, um, current label situation, man. Mm -hmm. What are you indie? Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm. I'm hundred percent indie. I'm hundred percent indie. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been having a lot of conversations with record labels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing too that I, I haven't been sure if I wanted to uh, cross over and do the major thing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I got good relationships with a, a few people at labels, but you know it's like once you do that, you you do that. You win, you win. So yeah. I kind of been in a point like where am I? Am, and I'm going to enjoy that indie success and you know right. what I'm saying and just bask in it and just do what I do from here or do I want to take it to the next level and I feel like if I'm going to take it to the next level got to be like carved out tailor made 
you mm. know what I'm saying, for me to do what I need to do. And if not, you know what I'm saying, there's no hard feelings. It's, it's definitely not about no paper. It's no hard feelings with nobody. It's just, it's just about me like seeing things through the way that they've been, the way they've been going. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm. want to change nothing. And, you know what I mean? You know, you sign that paperwork and a lot of shit changed, man. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot of shit changed. So, yeah. you know, I yeah. might not need to do it unless, like I said, unless it's carved out, tailor-made and, and we could we could make something happen. Right. Yeah, I feel you. Like, certain, you might go to a label and they might try to have, you know, input on your sound or, mm -hmm. or, or you know, your art. But yep, you yep. feel like, you know, that that's not the way. You know what I'm no, saying? It's you not the way. the way you want to keep it. And I just feel like, man, with the with the labels, it's just that... What they should be interested in doing is taking the Griselda sound, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and amplifying it, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, a lot of people want to convert it, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I understand that because yeah. this is the record business and that's what they do. Mm -hmm. They see how they can make something bigger and that might be their way of amplifying it. Right. But I just think, you know what I mean? Like I said, how people tell me that, yo, you need a radio hit, you need this, you need that, yeah, da, da, da. I feel like, man, you just gotta be you, man. You hear the yeah. fucking crazy songs these dudes come out with, yeah. and then they sell and they just go big, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Not saying that that's my goal to just like sell a ton of records and no shit like that. My goal is just to, is just to be here, you know what I'm saying? 10 years from now, eating off this music shit. But I just feel like a lot of times in this industry, people wanna take, oh, yo, okay, Benny, he doing this, but if we did this and we did that for him, we did that for him, he could be this, you know what I'm saying? That's not always what a nigga need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, I don't think these execs are, they, they don't have it. I don't know, it's just like back when the Russell Simmons days and all that, when they was running around, it just felt like they was a little bit more in tune with what an artist right. needs, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I, I, these execs these days, man, and it ain't no shade to no certain executives mm -hmm. or nothing like that. I'm just peeping game that, you know, it's like you said, just take the product that I've already given you right, right. and just help me expose it to more people. Right, you know what that's I mean? why you're here. That's why you're hitting me. I was yeah. talking to a label and it was like, yo, send us some music. You know what I'm saying? We want to hear something. And I'm like, I really yeah. don't want to send no music because it's like, y'all don't get it. Y'all only, yeah. only on my phone because I'm on fire right now. Yeah, you know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. So if I send y'all some music, y'all really not going to get it. But this same shit I'm going to put out. And then yeah. it's gonna be big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, nah, we'll see y'all some music for what? Yeah. What we talking about? I was young, the plug told me just be patient. I'ma hit you, shit slow. Work with me, right. just take what I could. You had a couple shooters on, on 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 a couple of your joints, man. You got an artist signed to you right now or anything? Yeah, yeah, man. I got uh, Rick Hyde and I got R. J. Payne. You know what I'm saying? R. J. Yeah, Payne, Payne, man. Who is that guy, man? That's my boy Payne, man. That guy Payne. is fucking nuts. Man, shout out Philly. <laughs> shout out my boy RJ Payne, man. Shout For out sure. Larry. I see y'all niggas, man. And that's like a, a dude who I felt like he was a good enough spitter to, you know what I mean, to to, to rub shoulders with us and, and, right. and hang around us. And I wanted to expose that talent as much as I could, you know what I'm saying? And, and I know he a hard worker. Everybody you see with me, like niggas is hard worker. Like I don't, I can't, I can't. Baby a nigga, I don't need a nigga to baby me, you know what I'm saying? I don't need my hand help. I just need you to show me one thing once and tell me where you need me to be, and yeah. that's what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and he he one of them people who I felt like that's all he needed. He just needed like, yo, some, some a couple like, some instructions and some camaraderie, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that nigga dope, you know what I'm saying? We working yeah. on a project with him now, yo, crazy. He, he got bars, bro. It just feel good, dog. like what y'all doing, everything across the board, you know what I'm saying? Everything feel good, you know what I mean? It's just, like I said, dog, we get bombarded with all these different types of, yo, know, radio hits, club hits, all this shit, and really, you just want to hear some raw shit, you know that's what I'm saying? It, that's and, it, man. And y'all providing that 100%, you know what I'm saying? Thank um, you, thank you. And the crazy part is, I got to shout out PSA Hip Hop, that podcast, man, my mm. man Three and Watson, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. They be going so hard for y'all yo, early. Go hard. Before, Not you know in. what I'm saying? Early, did you, did you ever did that show? Yeah, like three times. Yeah, and man, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm man, gonna keep they, doing it. That's my favorite mm -hmm. rap podcast out right now, and I, you know what I'm saying because they just get to it and they know who's doing what. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Real like shit. they was man, he'll text me some of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. or, or, or you know a link to your shit. Because it's just like, you know, boom, this is what the real shit is right here. We want to keep in touch with what's real out here. You know no, what I'm saying? Fire, we don't never want to fucking lose that and mix all this bullshit, man. How it? It's, it's just crazy that, I don't know, it's like y'all just steamrolling the game right now, man. Yeah, man. It's like it's like the timing is right. <clears throat> and you know what I mean? With, with, the, with the position Wes is playing, you know what I'm saying? With the fashion and... Uh, he the one negotiating these things and he being a mogul when me and Conway, we just in the trenches just rapping our ass right. off. 
the banana cool saying? Saying. Exactly. Like, that's I'm it. Going, man. That's crazy it. on everybody. That's it. You on Instagram like once a week spitting some shit. Mm-hmm. Now. Call them Sunday school. Sunday school, Sunday yeah. school yeah. man. Uh, was it good? Well, Got to man. So just, it's just that easy for you. Man, I'm just trying to keep my blade sharp, man. Wow. I'm just trying to keep my blade sharp and just just trying to motivate other people, man. And and you know what I mean? Just to, that you just always could do it. That's what I tell my niggas all the time. Yeah. Niggas in Black Supreme are like, man, load a video up. Where your drum at? We call them drums. Yeah. Dude, you got a drum. Where your you drum at? Where your drum at? <laughs> Gotta have a drum, man, because it's like, man, I got in this shit. Oh, man, I'm like, everybody nice. Mm-hmm. I got in this shit. I start going to Sway. I start hanging in these studios. I'm mm-hmm. like, all oh, these niggas. Like, <laughs> this niggas who I never even heard of. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, boom. You gotta stay on your shit. You yeah. gotta stay on your it's shit. Still sharp and still. So you mm-hmm. you're telling your boys to load them drums up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody that might be, you know, just one of your up and comings might mm-hmm. just try to light your ass no, up real, real quick. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be ready for that type of yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, Get y'all drums, man. Hey, horseshoe game. Get the drums ready, baby. <laughs> uh, Shady, man. So the you guys got a Griselda album, but that's is that coming out on Def Jam or Shady? That's coming out on Shady. Oh, Shady. Hell yeah. Yeah, how's that, man? You know, we got Shady in common and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, real so, shit. How, you know what I'm saying? How's it working? What's your experience like with Shady, bro? Oh, man, it's dope, man. Mike and Paul, real cool. You know what I'm saying? Met uh, Marshall a couple times. You know what I'm saying? It's just dope to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and from y'all being over there, yeah. I know that y'all, y'all niggas is the spitters, so it's like, he only fuck with the spitters. That's you it. Know what I'm you, you know what, what I mean? But they be giving him hell. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They give Marshall hell. And I'm yeah, like, they do. He like one of the last motherfuckers that just really fuck with the spitters. Mm-hmm. Like, you know yeah, what they I'm do. Saying? Yeah, they do. That should be funny. Because nah. you know what it is, man? He took hip hop down, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> he took hip hop down. He did what he did. He saw all them records, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, what I've seen with this game is when you coming up, they love you. But once you get up, they hate you. Ain't that some shit? And they fucking hate you when you get up there. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just what he going through, but deep down inside, man, everybody who everybody know what it is, know you know what I'm saying? Is. They know what it is. Yeah. I think Hove was real good at expressing that, mm-hmm. you know, that how they love you on your way up, and then exactly. you get there and they hate you, mm-hmm. and they want you to spit the internet shit, but they mm-hmm. not going to buy the internet shit if you exactly. spit it, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that shit is... <clears throat> but that's why I speak about where I come from and what I come from so much, not glorifying it. Or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, look. You know what I mean? Like, look. That'd be the first thing I tell motherfuckers. Like, look. Like, look at me. If I could do some shit, you could do it. And I want people to know that. You know what I'm saying? That it's it's, it's real life going on. You know what I'm saying? For people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's real life going on. No matter where, where we at. In my position that I'm in, it's real life going on. Going on. So that's why I like <clears throat> put a lot of pain in the music. Mm. My my niggas is all jammed up on fed cases and shit like that. Mm. My boy J Rock in a wheelchair. So I try to let people know it's like, that's what I did to get here. Yeah. And I always tell people, like, my hands is clean. I don't do nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, and I work hard for that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about. It ain't about, you know what I'm saying, like, leading niggas wrong and telling niggas to do this or do that. Because every brick I tell you about, I sold what I tell you about jail and right. like I said I on the uh, what's the name interview like I'm rap made a song about how like my bitch cheating on me while I'm locked up. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Real like, shit. Like, real shit and yeah. that comes with everything and I want people to know like if you out there if you playing around like shit get all the way real, you know what I'm saying? Nigga almost really couldn't be here, you know what I'm saying right wow. now. So and I'm just ha- I'm 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 a happy guy now cuz this is what I'm doing. I I check my gangsters my gangster hat at the door, you know what I'm saying? Because this rap, this ain't about that shit. If it was, we have a lot of you rap niggas stretched out, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it ain't about that. It's about taking this opportunity and making the most of it. And I'm just happy to be here, you know what I'm saying? That, and that's the realest shit, you know what I'm saying? That's the realest shit. That, that's the message that we need out there. We can't just keep having one side of the story being mm-hmm. told, you know what I'm saying? I'm right. balling, off coke, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking in my rear view when I see strange cars. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just balling off coke and I'm doing (laughs) pills and that's it. Like that that, that message is so Mm one-sided. I appreciate you for bringing that other side back to the table. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's the hip hop shit that I grew up listening to. Scarface, you know what I mean? Telling the whole shit, you know what I mean? That's a fact. So it's just dope. Um, You got any new projects coming up? Oh man, the, uh, what was Sheen gonna do with uh, Wes and Conway dropping on Shady? That's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming on later in the year. Uh, me and Conway, we uh, we cooking something up. We just we just working, man. I got a few projects really in the tuck. I just don't know what's coming out next. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. 
I got you, a whole bunch of shit. Man, and you're right. It's so crazy right now. You in a real zone right now. Like, it's, it's some, what do you know what that is? I don't, I, has has I it don't. always been like this? Because I know you've always been doing your thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But right now, it feel like it's getting too easy for you. Let me, to come let me, up with the all right, let me, shit. All right, let me speak on that. I kind of, I kind of, it kind of feel like an outer body experience. But I ask myself, like, damn, I, I ain't been right like this. Mm-hmm. But maybe I haven't, cause I always been, a, I always been the type of dude. This is what I tell people is like, you gotta perform when the lights on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta perform when the lights on. You drop thirty, you drop sixty points in practice, nobody's seen it. You know what I'm saying? Stephen A. Smith ain't gonna be talking about you. You did it in practice. You gotta do it when the lights on. And I think I've been. I've been on a streak and I just been doing it when the lights been on. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah, that's man. what it is, man. Hey man, I thank you for coming by. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you one more thing. Hold on. Though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Top five, man. Who's your top five rappers, bro? Oh man, I gotta go. I gotta go Hove. That's my guy. I gotta go uh Nas. I gotta go. Then I gotta go fucking rock him. I was listening to his shit earlier. You know what I'm saying? And then this would a tricky. Four and five, tricky. That's yeah. where that's where it fluctuates. Because mm-hmm. you can really put anybody in there, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're talking about influence, you know what I'm saying? But uh, who else, man? I'm going to give I'm gonna give it the, the Pac. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, a lot of dudes, man. I, you, you could say fucking G-Rap. Woo. You know what I'm saying? G-Rap. Yeah, my, see, my top five is like a 30-year span. You yeah, know what I mean? you see what I'm saying? That's, real but that's that real hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Once again, man. <laughs>